Do you remember who this is? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. During class, we read a story about the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now, you are going to make a caterpillar necklace. For this activity, you will look in the recent bag that I dropped off to your home. You will find a smaller bag with the caterpillar's head, a black piece of yarn, and different color pasta that we will use to make our pattern. So this activity will help our fine motor skills and our patterning skills. I will first show you the simple pattern and then a complex pattern that you can try. For our simple pattern, what's going to repeat is red, green, red, green. So the first piece that you put on is your red caterpillar's head. String it through. So red, next I grab a green piece of pasta. And stick it through. Families, you may have to help your child with this part. Sometimes it gets hard to push that string all the way through. If you see that it's hard with the piece of tape on there, you can just take the piece of tape off and have your child string it through that way. Just push it through. You really have to use your fine motor skills and pull it through. So first I have red, green. Next comes a red piece of pasta. I'm going to string it through again. I'm holding my pasta in one hand and pushing the yarn through with my other one. See how it fell? So I need to hold it closer. And push it through. Using your muscles and your hands. And I'm ready to string it through. So I am going to keep making my pattern and then show you it at the end. So red, green, red, green. So I finished my pattern necklace, my simple repeating pattern. I did red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. So this is my simple repeating pattern. If you are all done, you can have your family help you tie it and you can now wear your necklace and you can practice reading your pattern red green red green now i'm going to show you how to make a complex i wonder what can my complex pattern be i only have two colors red and green how can i make a complex pattern with two objects red and green pasta hmm let's think i can do red, green, green, red. That is a complex pattern. So I'm going to start with my red caterpillar head, did two green pastas, then a red pasta. Here is my complex pattern. We did red, green, green, red, green, green, red. Do you know what will come next? Green, green. So this is my complex pattern. Can you think of another way to do a complex pattern? If you can think of another way, you make it and take a picture and show your teachers.